Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey, hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and welcome to episode 53 of the Jaguar podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a recap of the matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. So let's jump into it. Uh, I am so happy because it is actually a victory Monday uh, for Jacksonville. We beat the Colts 38 to 20, so uh, that was pretty awesome. And um, this win is really kind of bittersweet for me because... um, you know, it might be possible that uh, Doug Marone, head coach Doug Marone, uh, he will not uh, possibly be with us next season, depending on, you know, the decision by Shad Khan. And also, um, you know, uh, Yannick Ngakwe, our defensive end, um, he may not be back with us next season. Um, you know, that is just a total shit show. Um that situation is just really unfortunate. He played a great uh, game, a lot of great effort coming out uh, from him in this uh, game. Um, he had a nice strip sack. Um, you know, they need to pay this guy. It's just, you know, the bottom line. Um, there's no other, uh, you know, no two ways about it. You know, this guy is just a great asset to our team. And we really screwed the pooch, you know, in the beginning of the season, uh, you know, when we were, you know, not taking care of him and he held out before training camp. And then we went and we paid Miles Jack, you know, who's done nothing this season. You know, he's been terrible. And, um, you know, it's just we're really in a pickle right now uh, with that situation. Um, I'll go more into it, though, in my next episode uh, about Yannick Ngakwe. Um, but, yeah, you know, this game was nice. Nice to have uh, a win and close out the season, uh, you know, with a W. Uh, we go six and ten, so uh, kind of a roller coaster of a season. But um, you know, we were able to end it on a positive note. Um, you know, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of great plays in this game. Um, you know, our, our defense kind of looked a little suspect uh, in the beginning of the, the, you know, the first half. We gave up uh, some big plays in the air. Um, you know, Indianapolis kind of marched down the field and scored real early on us. Uh, but you know, uh, we made some adjustments in the second half. Um, but we're able to get some pressure on Jacoby Brissett and, uh, you know, uh, we had a couple of nice sacks on him and, um, a couple of fumbles. I think, uh, Clayus Campbell recovered one and ran one in for a touchdown. So that was pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, the defense really stepped it up. Taven Bryan, uh, played a lot better in this game, um, you know, was getting pressure uh, on the quarterback, uh, just was playing uh, just better, you know, overall run defense this game, um, not getting blown off the ball. So that was nice. Uh, and, you know, um, our offense played really well, too. I mean, Gardner Minshew uh, threw some nice, uh, you know, passes to uh, our wide receivers, uh, Chris Conley, um, you know, uh Keelan Cole, he also had a great game. Um, You know, Minshew just threw this really nice pass to, uh, what was it, Keelan Cole in the the first half. I mean, it was like a a 40-yard bomb and uh, was right on the money to Keelan Cole. And, uh, you know, Keelan Cole caught it, so that was nice as well. But, uh, you know, it was really great to see that. Gardner is really improving his deep ball. Um, So, you know, he is improving – as the season goes on. And that's been really nice to see. Um, you know, he did have one interception uh, that was just, uh, no! just bad. I mean, it was just, what was, I don't know what he was thinking. I think he was trying to force a play and, and, and then just threw, tried to throw the ball to rock Armstead, but uh, the um, Indianapolis defender intercepted Idiot. it. But um, you know, like I said, it's his first year. He's a rookie. He makes mistakes. Hopefully he gets these, uh, you know, mistakes out this year, uh, and makes, uh, less of them next year. But, um, you know, Minshew did play much better in this game. Um, really had some nice solid throws. Um, you know, 
uh, stayed uh, poised in the pocket and poised in the pocket and, um, you know, really uh, delivered some nice throws in this game. So um, that was pretty awesome. Um, Leonard Fournette did not appear in this game. Um, he sat out. He had the flu. So Rock Armstead uh, uh, was in this game uh, in his place. And, uh, you know, he dropped a touchdown pass early in the, the first quarter. It was right to him. I mean, uh, it, that was just bad. That was really bad. Um, but, you know, he made up for it later. I believe he caught a touchdown pass in the uh, second half, um, you know, and was able to run it in there for a touchdown. So that was nice. Uh, he kind of made up for it. Um, you know, the defense... Didn't play very good, uh, you know, against the run. I think they gave up about 120 uh, plus yards in the, on the on the ground. That's not good. Um, but you know, they made some adjustments in the second half and uh, played much better. Um, you know, uh, again, Taven Bryan played a lot better. Um, you know, Avery Jones played uh, pretty well. I think he had a half sack, so that was pretty nice. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of uh, improvements in this game. Um, you know, Gardner Minshew really being the standout uh, in this game. And, um, you know, Keelan Cole, uh, he just had a great performance in this game as well. He's really stepped it up uh, this season. Um, just hoping that he can, you know, reduce the amount of turnovers, the fumbles, because that killed us last season. But um, yeah, this, is, this was a, a nice uh, way to close out the season. Um, you know, let's jump into the box score here real quick, uh, in the air passing quarterback Gardner Minshew, 27 for 39, uh, 295 yards, uh, three touchdowns and one interception. Unfortunately, uh, as I mentioned, it was really bad, but, um, you know, he's a rookie. He makes mistakes and, uh, you know, life goes on, uh, on the ground rushing rock Armstead, 10 carries for 33 yards, uh, 3.3 yards per carry. You know, didn't see much from him on the ground. Um, you know, we also had Devin Oz Ozigbo, uh, four carries, 27 yards, uh, three yards per carry. And then Gardner Minshew had a couple scrambles, five carries for, for seven yards. So, um, you know, we didn't run the ball again too much. That's, I guess, the the John D. Filippo play calling. Um, I don't know if he's going to be back next season. I wouldn't be uh, been out of shape if he wasn't. Um, you know, because I just think the scheme has not worked too well for us. Uh, we, we need to utilize Leonard Fournette more in this uh, in this offensive scheme. So I just feel like he's not being utilized on the ground. And uh, we're not able to take some of the pressure off Gardner Minshew. So uh, we need to change that. And uh, hopefully we make a change at offensive coordinator. But we'll see what happens. Um, in the air... Uh, you know, wide receiver D.D. Westbrook, seven receptions, 72 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Keelan Cole uh, was just fantastic in this game. Three receptions, 67 yards, one touchdown. Um, also had a nice, uh, uh, very, very nice uh, kickoff uh, return. Um, got some nice yardage on that. Jumped over a guy. That was pretty, pretty crazy. Um, Rock Armstead, five receptions, 52 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Chris Conley. Uh, three receptions for um, 38 yards, and I believe he got his nice uh, his nice bonus um, for for receptions. Uh, DJ Chark four receptions, uh, 34 yards. Devin Ozigbo, uh, running back Devin Ozigbo, three receptions, 23 yards, and then uh, Charles Jones the second. I believe he's a tight end. One reception for five yards, and then Seth De Seth Devolve uh, one reception for four yards. Um, you know, on defense, uh, it wasn't good on the on the ground. We gave up uh, 100 plus yards rushing, um, but you know we made some adjustments uh, in the second half, and it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we were able to kind of um, you know limit uh, Marlon Mack and the damage that they were doing against us on the ground. Um, but Avery Jones, defensive tackle, had a half sack. Uh, Josh Allen, uh, our um, rookie defensive end. Uh, he also had a half sack. Uh, Dwayne Smoot, um, sorry, excuse me, Duan Smoot, uh, our, our second string defensive end, one sack. And then Calais Campbell had a nice uh, fumble recovery for a touchdown. Uh, and that was due to uh, the strip from uh, defensive end Yannick Ngakwe. And he was just hustling and had a great attitude this game. Um, hope to see him back next season. Uh, you know, from a special teams perspective, Josh Lambeau, just incredible. Um, three for three. 
you know, three field goals, made them all 56 yarder. That was incredible too. Um, you know, kudos to Josh Lambeau. He's just been incredible this season. Uh, we don't know what we would do if uh, we didn't have Josh because, uh, he's just been uh, amazing for us. So, uh, you know, I have to top my hat off to, uh, to Josh Lambeau. Uh, Logan Cook, uh, was really good in this game as well. Two punts, uh, averaged about 59 yards each. And he had one inside the 20 and, uh, you know, he's just been really good for us as well. Uh, we got to bring him back again because Logan Cook, uh, definitely an asset, uh, on the special teams front. So, you know, that's the game in a nutshell. Um, again, kind of bittersweet. We'll probably see some coaching or staff uh, changes um, next season. I think we will be unlikely to see Todd Wash, our defensive coordinator, next season. I'd be very, very surprised uh, if he uh, returns. The defense has regressed. Uh, we're just not the same. We're not Saxonville, and we need to get back to Saxonville. So I, I think we need to make a change there. I love to see us bring in, uh, you know, Marvin Lewis uh, at the defensive coordinator position. Um, you know, I just think he's a defensive mastermind, and um, you know, did a great job with uh, the Baltimore Ravens, bringing them to a Super Bowl. Um, and you know, I think we need to make a change at offensive coordinator. Um, you know, we need to find a different scheme, uh, something that's going to work well with Leonard Fournette. Um, so I, I and, and definitely utilizing our passing tech. I feel like our we were just so predictable this season from uh, the offensive front. Um, so I think we need somebody who's going to going to come in and kind of change it up a little bit, uh, give us some different looks. Um, but that's it. That's it, really. Uh, you know, um, in a nutshell, uh, really happy that we won this game. Unfortunately, I've, as a result of, uh, of of winning this game, I think we 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 dropped in the in the draft uh, when we we were, were going to pick. I think we have like the the ninth pick and the twentieth pick uh, in the in the in the first round of the NFL draft. So. You know, uh, not the end of the world, but uh, we'll see what happens. You know, let me know how you feel about this game. Leave a comment on the podcast uh, episode or YouTube video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. You know, leave me some uh, feedback on Apple Podcasts. It always helps me, you know, when I'm putting together these uh, these episodes. Uh, you know, stay strong. Go Jags. Duval for life. And I'll see you next time. Let me get that. could hear it in our ground intimidation on to keep their hearts racing the other teams live on tv front of the nation spectacular defensive scheme. this episode is available on the jaguar podcast youtube channel so if you stop by make sure to subscribe and give this video a like also these episodes are available on itunes podbean spotify soundcloud stitcher and other major podcast distributors as well so if you don't mind please leave me a review and some feedback i'd really appreciate that if you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.